today's video, I can barely contain my excitement because we get to nerd out again, and this time on benzoyl peroxide. Not long ago, I posted a video on like the chemical structure and the mechanisms of AHA and BHA acids, and basically broke them down and explained how they work or don't work for your skin. And today I wanted to do the same thing for benzoyl peroxide because it's skin and it's science and it makes me so happy. And honestly, if you don't understand the products that you're using to treat your acne, how are you going to know what's best for you, what's working, and if you understand them, that's one step closer to clearing up your skin. So let's talk about benzoyl peroxide today. I am sure you recognize benzoyl peroxide from just about every acne product ever. Not every one, but there are so many products with benzoyl peroxide, and I'm not gonna lie, for years I used benzoyl peroxide not knowing or understanding what it even was or how it even worked to break down or inflame my skin. So something that's interesting about benzoyl peroxide is that it can be used on whiteheads, on blackheads, and on cysts and inflammatory acne. There are other acne products that only work on whiteheads or blackheads or only work on inflammatory acne, um, but because of its unique chemical structure, benzoyl peroxide can be used on all these different things, and it actually works in a couple of different ways. One, it exfoliates, just like a lot of other acne products. As we know, we have pores in our skin that have hair follicles, and those hair follicles are surrounded by sebum, which delivers nutrients to our entire skin and keeps everything lubricated and healthy. But sometimes if that gets plugged up with dense skin cells, it can cause a breeding ground for bacteria, which causes acne. Benzoyl peroxide can come in there and kind of break down that plug, similar to other acne products, and allow that to kind of, the sebum to escape and there goes the acne in an ideal world. But another way that benzoyl peroxide works is actually by killing bacteria. The way that the benzoyl peroxide is set up, it actually goes through a chemical transformation when applied to your skin, which releases a certain special molecule that goes in and actually kills the bacteria. So let's talk about that a little bit in depth. The actual chemical structure of benzoyl peroxide is made up of two benzene rings, and those are held together by a peroxide link. Now, now, this peroxide link in the middle is actually pretty freaking fragile, which means it could come apart really easily. When benzoyl peroxide is actually applied to the skin, its molecules start to actually rearrange. Like Beyonce, get in formation, but they're actually getting out of formation. And they go through a process that's called hemolysis, which means that an oxygen bond breaks. Now, what happens when this oxygen bond breaks? It releases a free radical. Now I know that that can sound kind of confusing, like what is a free radical? What is an oxygen bond? Oxygen bond. You really don't have to worry about it. All you should know is that a free radical is bad. You've probably heard about them in your food and in your skincare. A free radical can be thought of as like a desperate prom date. This girl got dumped right before prom or this guy and literally is like looking for to date anyone, like literally desperate. What this free radical is searching for is a pair to its extra electron. So in its chemical structure, it has this electron that is just hungry to grab onto anybody. And that's why antioxidants are so helpful and important. Antioxidants are like the, the sacrificial player who is willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater good of the organism. And the antioxidant will give up and bond to this free radical to neutralize it so it doesn't go off killing our cells. But as this free radical is out and about, it wants to pair to anything because it is desperate. <laughs> and so when this desperate free radical is created through our benzoyl peroxide on face application, that extra electron actually wants to attack the bacteria, the little microorganism of bacteria, and that is how benzoyl peroxide kills it. The bacteria that actually causes acne is called the P. acnes bacteria, and this bacteria, along with other microorganisms, cannot live within the presence of oxygen. And when this chemical process happens as it's applied to our skin, that chemical process releases both oxygen and benzoic acid. Acid. Oh my god. <laughs> Immaturity here. <laughs> so when this benzoyl peroxide chemical reaction happens on our skin, it releases oxygen and benzoic acid. 
And so therefore it kills some of the bacteria. And that in essence is how benzoyl peroxide works to kill bacteria and exfoliate the skin and why it is so commonly used for acne. So the next question is, what are the different types out there and how do I know what's gonna work? I have to be completely honest, as an acne sufferer for over 15 years, I have tried a lot of benzoyl peroxide. And one of the main side effects of benzoyl peroxide is that it can cause dryness and irritation. Also, when you think about it, we're allowing these new free radicals to just kind of explore our skin. And yes, the hope is that they will attack and kill bacteria. But if you have too many free radicals, that can actually attack your own skin and cause premature aging. And there have been a lot of studies that looked at benzoyl peroxide and have found that it can contribute to both dryness, wrinkles, and premature aging because it is a very strong chemical. This is a Cleansiderm MD one that I have, and this is 5%, which is really good. I once went to the doctor and they gave me a 60%, which was really intense. Um, you can go over the counter. The proactive solution is, I think, 2.5%. And those different levels are something that your skin can build up to, um, depending on the severity of your acne. Now, like I was saying, for me personally, benzoyl peroxide wasn't so helpful. I found that it dried my skin out more, which just made it harder to treat, and then my skin started overproducing oil because it was so dry. You know, my skin, my body, kind of knows how to take care of itself, and it was like, whoa, bro, it's dry in here. Let's create some oil. And that just created more oil and more plugs and more cysts under my skin that tended to spread and get inflamed with acne. Um, so for me, benzoyl peroxide ultimately wasn't that effective. And it is used in a lot of spot treatments, etc. And it does show pretty quick results for most people because it's a pretty intense chemical. But at the same time, just because it works quickly doesn't mean that it'll always work in the long run. And again, this is different for everyone. So this is the part where you come in, and if you have ever tried benzoyl peroxide, which if you're watching this channel, I really hope you have, um, I want you to post a comment and tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, um, what you didn't like, speak it to English, Cassandra. Um, what did you like, what did you not like, and what product was it? How did it work for you? Because the more we share, the more we can all learn. As I've said before, I believe that beauty is not something that we're just born with. I believe it's something that we learn and it's something that we earn. We need to create it. We need to educate ourselves and understand what beauty really is. And then we need to earn it by helping others around us and by contributing to the world in a beautiful, positive way. Um, so that being said, thank you guys so much for giving me this space to nerd out about science and skincare. I absolutely love it and the positive feedback in comments or just thumbs up means so much to me because I realize that my passions are kind of validated and I hope that I'm not the kind of person who constantly seeks validation but you know at times we all want to be validated and knowing that you care makes me feel good so I hope that you guys are having a great day be sure to hit the notification bell to know when I upload um, on how I cleared my skin and maybe more of these sciencey videos because I upload pretty irregularly because the Wi-Fi here really sucks so yeah if you hit that notification button you'll know <laughs> know that I love you and the beautiful skin that you're in and I can't wait to see you in the next video Love you guys. Bye.